Hi guys, how are you today? Today is August the 8th. Come here, Daddy. Come here. Oh, he knows I'm on the computer. This dog, I'll tell ya. Alright. Here we go. Look, can you look? Oh, Mama, you just want to get careful. Where's Rob? Where is he? I'm a sleepy dog. Nothing better than plug kisses. Doggy kisses are the best. Oh, I could just stare at that face, you guys. Yep, we watched Rob's video this morning with Dexter. And, oh, he hears Rob's voice and he's Rob? Where's Rob? Where's Rob? Wanna go bye bye? You wanna go see Rob? Don't be surprised if we show up at your house, Rob. <laughs> That's okay. I give you a couple days more. It's going to take me a couple days to get down there. Anyway, I um, hope you guys are all doing well today. And uh, Charlie, just sit down and yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do the 21 question tag that Rob Reno had done. So um, I'm sure you all know who Rob Reno is. He is just a, a great guy, you guys. If you haven't checked him out, it just it's Rob Reno, and just type in his name. That's his that's his name, his screen name. And um, he's a great guy, and he is becoming. Oh, he is. He's just one of my dearest friends. He's like a brother to me, and I just adore him. And we're on this journey together, and well, all of us are in this community. And I just, um, Rob, we're gonna do this. We'll get this. So, anyway. Okay, tag questions. Number one, favorite day of the year. My favorite day of the year is New Year's. I like New Year's because it's just new beginnings. We can reflect on, you know, the past year, make changes where we need to, and then the upcoming year. Um, the hustle and bustle of Christmas is over. I love me some Christmas. I love decorations. I love the Christmas trees. I, I love presents. I love giving and I love getting. Um, but I just, it's just, I, I really, I really like New Year's. And plus it just means that spring and summer is almost here because this California girl does not like the winter here in South Dakota. <laughs> my husband and my children love it. Me not so much. Favorite day of the week is Saturday. I just love Saturdays. You know, I just think for some reason my coffee tastes better on Saturday morning than it does on Friday morning or Monday morning or I just really uh, adore Saturdays. I, you know, I adore Sundays um, because I get to go to church and fellowship with my with my friends and family. I just Saturday for some reason there's just something that once a kid I loved it and I love it as a as a grown up adult. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one little sister and she's 42, and she moved out here from California and she lives about um, an hour away from me. Um, are your parents still living? Um, my father is still living. Um, he lives in California, and he's going to be 74 in September. And um, my mother sadly passed away um, in October 20th of 2002. And it was sudden. She was 57 years young, and her name um, is Kayreen. And it was tragic how she uh, lost her life. And um, I was on the phone with her. Um, and I'm here in South Dakota, and she was in California, and there's nothing more helpless, you guys, than um, not being able to get to the one that you love when they are succumbing to something that she didn't survive. Anyway, um, it changed my life, her death, and the circumstances surrounding it changed my life, and hence then my weight ballooned out of control. But not anymore. <laughs> um, do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two pups. I have Charlie Brown, and we have little Charlie Brown, and we have Gracie May, who's my other, my seven-year-old pug. Charlie's two and a half now. Um, Charlie was actually an owner surrender. Um, he this is actually his third home, so he he. I think in his first place, he just he wasn't taken care of at all. 
and then the people that had them before were friends of ours, and they had to move, and so they knew I loved pugs, and so they gave them to me in the last October, and he's become my best little buddy. I'm like a little doggy psychologist because he has some issues that we're working on, like manners. <laughs> but he is just my love. And then we have a, a two-year-old boxer, Greta, and we have sheep, horses, and chickens, minus one rooster. For those of you that, um, yeah, were dealing with that with me uh, via text yesterday and stuff, thank you. Was it? Oh boy, it was really tragic. Anyway, we saw another rooster, but Jailbird is no longer with us. Do you have any children? Yes, I have two daughters, Emma and Sarah, 15 and 17. Amazing young ladies. The teenagers are hard. Teenagers are hard. What is your favorite sport to watch? I love beach volleyball. I used to play volleyball in high school and middle school, and I just love volleyball. And I love the beach, and I love watching men and women. I just love it. Um, what, uh, oh, if you could pick one person to be your mentor, who would it be? Well, one person would be uh, my mom. My mom, you know, if I can be half the wife, half the mother, half the friend that my mom was, that I'm doing pretty darn good, because she was an amazing, amazing woman. And she just did so much for her community, and she just was amazing. And then the other person, I, I, didn't ha I had two, and it would be Oprah, because I, 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 I love Oprah, and she built an empire, and I am a female business owner, and I own a small business. I only have one employee, that's a start. Um, and I just really, um, I, I love what she's done for people, she she helps people. She mission work, and that is that's something I, I am passionate about. So I love Oprah. She's one of my mentors. Okay, what is your favorite sport to play? Well, I I don't play sports. What I do is I love hiking, but my sport is my whole extracurricular thing that I probably I pay for that I love that I. Um, I, I can't wait to get better at is powerlifting. Um, this is something I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be lifting um, heavy weights um, and deadlifting and doing stuff like that. I, I love to feel strong. I just, I love that. I love it. Um, what is my favorite song? Um, my favorite song is uh, Don't Stop Believing from Journey. I'm an 80s girl, <laughs> and I love Journey. I always have. Even They have this new um, lead singer now, but um, they're just they're awesome. And in fact, they were just here Monday night at the Buffalo Ship in Sturgis, because the, the Sturgis Rally is here in the Black Hills, and there's like over 500,000 motorcyclists out and about in the hills, and it's just, it's just crazy, but I had friends that went and said it was just amazing, um, this amazing concert, and I didn't go this year to the concerts because um, we got Sugar Land here. Every night there's a, there's a band here, a, a popular band, and uh, but um, because of my arms, I did I can't handle being bummed right now with my arms, have with the brachial, have just have being a month off from the brachial plastic. So okay, well, I, I'm sorry. I like to talk. I know I'm already here in eight minutes. Boy. Okay, how old will you turn on your coming birthday? I'm going to be 45. And I know, I don't look 45. I don't because, this is something else that I have in common. I use oil and light too. I have since I was 16. Great skin. Oh, I'm a little, a little goofy today, I guess. Sorry. Okay, favorite snack. I love carrots with peanut butter. I just, I've, I've, I, I don't know, probably a year or two ago, I guess. So I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try it. Natural peanut butter. Don't get the, uh, the, the bad peanut butter. Um, it's natural. Favorite sit down restaurant? Uh, I like Roma's. It's a little Italian restaurant in Spearfish, South Dakota, and they have the best meatballs. My favorite food? Take a guess. Italian food, yeah. Love Italian food. I love, I love gnocchi. I love lasagna. I love anything Italian. Love it. Pizza. Favorite fast food place. 
I don't um, have a favorite fast food place. I don't really, even when I ate it, I didn't really like it. So um, I eat at Subway, but I don't think of Subway as fast food because it's more like a deli to me. Cause it, and I don't know, out here, they're not really fast. <laughs> so, you know, I think of fast food as like, you know, Burger King, McDonald's, Taco Bell, you know, those kind of chain fast foods. And I know Subway's a chain. I just, I, it's to me, it's like going into a deli. So, um, yeah, that's Okay, favorite soda pop. Well, I used to be, I'm two and a half years out from soda pop, but from drinking soda pop, but I used to be a Diet Coke aholic and Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh my word. Probably like a six pack a day of that stuff. So, but I don't, um, I do not partake in that anymore. I haven't had any in two and a half years. I just don't, I drink water. Um, I drink a lot of water a day. I drink about 40 a day and they 33.8 um, ounces. Um, I, you know, so I put lemon in it or lime or whatever, but I really just drink water and coffee. And anyway. Okay. Favorite movie of all time. I am just a sucker for romance and love stories, and so I'm going to have to say Titanic. I mean, it's a sad love <laughs> story. I love Titanic. Yeah. The TV show of all time. Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Country you would love to visit. Well, I definitely am going to be going back to Italy. Um, I, we're from northern Italy. Um, and uh, I've been to Switzerland. I want to spend some more time in Switzerland. And, uh, you know, I, I want to travel. I'm ready to go. I got my passport. In my luggage, I'm ready to go. Um, I really want to go to Africa. One of my, my, my goals when I get the rest, I want to lose 55 more pounds, is I want to, and I, I don't want to go until I, I get my, down to my weight, because I want to be able to have enough stamina. I want to go on a safari, but I really want to go into the villages, and I, I, I just want to go to Africa. I have, I have you know, friends that have done that and say it's life-changing to see how, how we live here in America. Well, I know, I'll say, because I know there's a lot of stuff in America that needs to be addressed. So please don't get me wrong. And I think we, I think we need to be going into our communities here in America and, and doing some stuff as well. Absolutely. I, 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 just, I think I, I want to go on a safari, and, and so I thought I could go to Africa and, and help those children in the village. So that's one of the things that I want to go. But I also want to go to a lot of places in the, in the United States as well. And I want to go to Canada. Is there someone special up there in Canada? Her name's Angie. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's the next question? Where is it? I think I'm able to see because I have glasses on and I still can't see with my glasses on. What do you drive? I'm oh, sorry, you guys. I drive a 2012 Chevy Equinox. It's a new car. I'm so excited and I love it. And it's, uh, I feel very, very blessed to be able to have it. What do you do for a living? I um, own a business, a small business. I have one employee, and it's Amazing Grace Preschool, and I teach little kids. We teach ages three to about five and a half years old, and I teach the older group, and my employee teaches the little three and four-year-olds, and um, I love being my own boss, but let me tell you, running a business, it's great. Everybody has its ups and its downs, and everything has its big points and its but it's, it's, also, it's also hard. It's really hard. Um, so, anyway, well, that's my tag. If you haven't done this yet, tag your it. <laughs> so I just want to, you know, say thank you to everybody for all your love and support on this journey. Um, one of my one of my dearest friends, little Julie Wilson, um, I subscribed to her as well, and she said in her in her video last night, uh, "Reach for the moon, land among the stars." And I think we need a bracelet. And so, I think, Rob, well, you need to get on that. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I just, um, she was all, and that just really stuck with me. So, yeah, we just need to keep going on our journeys. And thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you to uh, the friendships that are forming here. I, I never expected this when I joined this community. I am finding, you know, it, it's weird. There's a lot of people who probably don't understand it until you actually did it, and it, this would have been me as a skeptic. 
before, that we are truly real people and we are forming real friendships. And it's not a joke, it's not fake, it's real. I mean, it is for me, it is real. And I know the people that, that I'm talking to, it's real as well. So, you guys have a great Wednesday and uh, keep on the lookout for some more videos with some uh, sheep antics because it's a busy time here on our farm with uh, the county fair next week and sheep shows are among us and it's getting wild and crazy. So, anyway, thanks you guys and have a great day.